Alright, we are off. This is the Oracle of Seasons weekly randomizer race. Today we're playing on normal mode. Randomized dungeons, randomized portals, cross items are enabled. And joining me in the race we have Lotus today. And as you may notice, we've got something a little bit different in terms of tracker. We've got a new tracker developed by Casper. Uh, it's available in email tracker. Basically, it has all the support for cross items as well as tracking portals. I don't think the logic is there for portal tracking yet, but you can at least keep an eye on where portals are going. But we're giving it, a, giving it a spin today. See how it goes. Should be very fun. It's been a little bit since we've done a season's run. Uh, partly because of the tracker. Like, we knew the tracker was coming. So I kind of just wanted to hold off and wait for it to be publicly available. And now it is. So that's real cool. The one downside to this tracker is it does take up a lot of screen real estate. So I pretty much have no room to like pin things if I wanted to. But I don't usually pin too much, so it's not too big of a deal. At least for me. Got ourselves flippers. Okay, we're going swimming. I think I'm going to take a pit stop over to the Maker Tree first. See what they got for me. Also poke my head into the shop. Just a rupee. Okay. Nothing too crazy in the shop today. Let's see, things I would love to see right here, bombs, so I don't have to buy them from the shop. Amber seeds would also be really nice. Rod of Autumn, not exactly what I'm looking for, but it is an item, I'll take it. Let's think about where that Rod of Autumn might lead us to. It might lead us to D5 entrance pretty soon. Uh, we would need Feather and a way to lift Mushrooms. Could also lead us directly above, uh, above D1, Hard Ore. Same thing, we would need a, a way to get rid of Mushrooms. Uh, we wouldn't need a Feather for that. That's one that could be interesting. Like, get a bracelet right here and go straight there. Or we get bombs. Okay. So like I was saying, bombs were a thing that were on my radar. So swamp is default that. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight back. We're just going to go straight there. And we're going to get whatever items over here. The great thing about having flippers this early is that we don't have to worry about changing the season to winter. 
to freeze the, the water over here. We can just go right in and swim. And we get a jewel. X-shaped jewel. Cross-shaped jewel. Whichever you prefer. That is going to be required later on, but not right now. So that is telling me to go north. Alright, there's nothing else I can do right now. Don't have access to any entrances, no subversia, no dungeons. Yeah, so we ha we've got to go north to Natsu. Realistically, this could be any of the three, so I'm going to go this way. This guarantees that I'm able to get around. This looks like a Dimitri. Yeah, it's Dimitri, so I could have gone the other way. So since we have Dimitri as our animal companion, if we get Dimitri's flute, that opens up the um, the cave above D1. Alright, bracelet. I think this is the best play, is to go all the way back here. Like, normally I wouldn't like to do this, but our next item is probably going to be right here. The other thing is, now we have access to Spool Swamp Portal. So I could go there. I also have the cave behind D1 access. I think I hit that before I go to... Yeah, I think I hit that before I go to Spool Swan Portal. Good luck and have fun. Mashi's nom. Yo, Snow with the 20 months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for the good luck as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking care of this cave now because there's no other really good time to grow here. And most likely, this is either an item, or we gotta go to Sabrosia. And if we gotta go to Sabrosia, I wanna maybe get one more good movement item. Whether it's a feather, whether it's a magnet glove, something like that could potentially make or break our next Sabrosia trip. Or it's just a heart container, and we gotta go to Sabrosia with the items we have. That works as well. But yeah, we're, we're about to utilize the new feature of the tracker, which is the portal tracking. I'm excited to see how this plays out. I haven't actually, like, I've played around with it a little bit, but I haven't really utilized it too much. So 
Spool Swamp Portal is going to lead to dancing. That's easy enough. Double edge ring, okay. So really nothing of value there. I mean double edge ring can be useful in certain circumstances. I just don't like using it. Yeah, as I said earlier, the, the tracking, the logic part of the Subrosa portals hasn't been implemented yet. It's more, mostly just for your reference. So, like, I can't track any of the checks here in Subrosa. But at least I have an at-a-glance way of being able to see what portal leads to where. Which is very helpful, especially like as you get late in the seed and you forget like where that one random spot leads to. Yo, what's up, Mia? What are we going to get here? We've got to get something, right? The Magnet Glove! Okay. What does the Magnet Glove let me do here? Because I can't get over there. Uh, does Mac Glove? No, I can't get over there. Am I going to have to? Something seems a little off here. Because I shouldn't have to farm Blano. Like, I shouldn't have to go farm Rupees right now. But that seems to be the only thing I have available. Magnet Glove doesn't really get me anywhere right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go go through Blano and try and figure out where else I can go. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I don't have... I don't have Mermaid Suit or Dimitri to be able to get to Sunken. Magnet Glove doesn't do anything for me right here. If I had a feather, then yes, it would do a lot, but I don't. Unless it thinks I can get to another portal. Let me think. Can't get to... Eastern Suburbs. I can't... Yeah, I can't get to Mount Kuko. I'm gonna need a shovel for that. I can't get... To eyeglass. I can't get to town. Can't get to Temple Remains. Yeah, this is a race. And it's supposed to be normal logic, so we shouldn't have to um, be farming rupees here. But this is literally the only thing that I can do right now. Unless there's something I'm just completely missing. And look, that got me a seed satchel. So... That doesn't really do anything for me, does it? So there's got to be something else I can do. What is it? gotta be like something with the mer something with the magnet glove maybe no the ruby farm didn't do anything really it got us a satchel The satchel doesn't do anything. What is going on here? I can't get... Right, I can't get up to Spool Swamp. No, I don't have Summer. If I had summer, I could get up here. Hmm. 
Unless, do I have Swimmer's Ring? No, I just have the Double Edge Ring. I don't have Swimmer's. That's the only other thing that, like, I could have thought. Um... Yeah, I don't know where to go. There's nowhere to, to really do anything. Something about this doesn't seem right. Can't change this to winter. Sabrosia? No, I didn't I didn't miss a check. Oh, I did miss a check. I have hard ore. I have hard ore. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> that's what happens when I can't actually track what I'm doing, and I'm looking at it. Because I don't always, like, think about the smithy this early on. So the fact that the smithy is exactly where I need to be kind of threw me off. It's going to be a feather, isn't it? Yep. That makes everything make sense. I think the combination of having a new tracker on top of something that you just don't see every day just kind of threw me off a little bit more than I'm used to. Also the fact that I haven't played in, a, what, like a month? Something like that. Oh yeah, now we're back on track. Oh, this is Emo Tracker. What's up, Fluffy Cactus? Thanks for the good luck. Alright, what do we got in the shop? Nothing. A whole load of nothing. This leads to Mount Kuko. Okay. So Mount Kuko leads to Rosa. So we're getting a lot of information now. There's another jewel. It's 
it's a bit unfortunate that <laughs> I left Sabrosia after that first round and then got completely lost because I had to come back here. Uh, I got Lake. Oh! Oh, that's spicy. I mean, we're gonna go back there. Uh, that is that one, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go back there on our way out, I think. Because we're gonna go into that dungeon. Because we have uh, access to it. I'm actually kind of tempted to just go there now. But... Knowing how this game is... I would not be surprised if I find a required item for that dungeon in Fall Tower. Yeah, thanks for the good luck, Plata. Appreciate it. Alright, so I'm going to save before going in here, just in case this is nothing, that le will get me back to the portal really quickly. And that's going to get me into our first dungeon as well. I'm tempted to go to Mount Kuko. Uh, yeah, I'm... I think I'm keeping that. <laughs> yeah, we did the hard ore trade. That got us our feather. We kind of forgot that we had the hard ore. So, uh... We definitely left Sabrosia before we were supposed to. But no biggie. You learn some things sometimes. Alright, what dungeon do you think we're going to find here? I'm kind of hoping for... For a 2. A 2 sounds pretty good right about now. It's like the only dungeon that we can full clear. I actually, no, 5... 5 is actually even better. Hold on. Vanilla 5 is really good. I have to figure out which one. Compass, okay. It does, but it really doesn't do much. Like, it just pulls the mask off of the Helmosaurs. So, <laughs> you still have to go and defeat them. Half the time it's just better to just hit them, rather than try and do that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get Ember Seeds here. Let's go! Those are not in logic, but we'll take them. I will absolutely take them. Because those, uh, those chests aren't randomized. Only the last one in that room is. So yeah, we should be able to full clear this dungeon with no problems. The only problem might be the vanilla boss key check, but even then, it's not that big of a deal to take a little bit of damage. Fist ring? I don't care about no fist ring. But wait, which one is it? Both both of them, they're not next to each other anymore. So I don't know which one it is. Now that's expert. There we go, that's a fist. It used to be the, like, in the line, fist ring, then expert ring. Uh, Fool's Ore does more than the level 3 sword. It's ridiculous. It's, like, actually insane. Alright, that's five keys. So now we just have, what... Map, two items. Map and two items left here. All right, winter's pretty good. Like, we're definitely going to utilize that pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to go straight for boss because it's a boss and we got the items so that's really good we don't have to go back in right yeah still missing map so that worked out really well so we're done with that hmm I'm starting to think those ember seeds can't be logical right so I'm trying to think of like where else I want to go next. 
I, I could go to Sunken through Dimitri's path. Yeah, I could do that way. So I can get over there. I think that's probably better to go that way and drop down into Eastern Suburbs. Rather than try go straight through Eastern Suburbs and it's not spring. very least, we're going to get access to Sunken City from here. And this could be our logical Ember Seeds, too. It could also be Gale Seeds. It could be a variety of things. Yeah, so all the default seasons in certain areas are randomized, so that's why there's a tracker. So that tracks where our defaults are. So we can know, like, what's going on in each area. Here's some Pegasus Seeds. I'll gladly take those. Thank you very much. Still missing Gales. Oh, I, I should mark that as well. Also, shoutouts to being winter here. Because now, I can try and get bombs back. There we go. Easy peasy. I think I'm going to drop down. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll drop down into Woods of Winter. We'll get the cave. Nice rubies. We can't get Holly's house. Oh, no, wait, we have Winter. We have Winter. We can get Holly's house for sure. Yo, it's a power glove. I love it. And look, we can track it! It's amazing! Cross items are officially trackable. Yeah, so I'll drop down here. It says I can't get back. It says I can't get back. Just in case, but I think we're good. Let me see what the default is here. Okay, it's, it's winter there, so we're, we're definitely good then. I can just walk out that way. Spring? Okay. So that's my way out. Well, I, not necessarily. Alright, Holly, what do you got for me today? Car container. Whole lot of love. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and let's head into D2 entrance. I feel like that's probably our next best place to go. Also check the tree here for potential gale seeds.
All right, D2. Vanilla D2. Something's fishy about these dungeons today. Master Black. Also, I totally just realized both of the cards are next to each other. I picked the right one. Did they all spawn on the right side? No, right and top. Okay. I'm going to go straight up here just to see what we've got. Got the rare peach stone and bombs. Okay, not worth it. Someone just tried to scam you with a link that would steal your Steam information. Yeah, there's a lot of scams going around lately. Just gotta be careful. Just don't click on any links. Unless you know exactly who's sending it and where it's going to. And even then, like, be careful with, like, Discord, because people, people's accounts get hacked, and then they'll just message all their friends and make it look like they're the ones talking, but it's really a scammer. Yeah, exactly. Like, people's friends' accounts get hacked. So you gotta be really, really careful. Yeah, and then, then there's some that are just like blatantly obvious. I like the ones where it's like, oh, your long lost relative of random name entered here has just recently passed away and has an inheritance, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no. First of all, those scams love to come from Canada and I don't even live in Canada. Don't know how, like, they end up getting to me, but whatever. Uh, did I get... I didn't get all three keys yet, so I'm just going straight to boss. Chances are this is probably a key, but at the same time, 
platforms are impossible. Please? I'm just gonna jump. I'm gonna jump at this point, because I have no idea why this is not... Wait, I don't have... Wait, what? What am I missing? Hold on. How is this? This can't be even possible, right? I'm missing Bosky. Where did... Did I not grab the chest before the... Oh no! Bosky's there! I'm still confused. Obviously, like, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. But where is that third key? I did the spiral. I definitely just, like, left it somewhere. That's it. I have to have third key in order to get boss key. Well... It doesn't matter at this point. I, it was probably the chest right before mini boss. That's the only one I can think of that I might have skipped by accident. This run has been going great, hasn't it? <laughs> We've been missing items, missing checks, just completely forgetting that we've had certain things. It's lovely. Welcome back, right? <laughs> I guess I gotta keep up with uh, the randomizer. I can't just let it go for a little bit. Alright, let's go check Suburgia Portal. Because this is a new portal for us. I don't want to go to hide and seek. Yeah, you can get seeds from using Dimitri on the side of a tree, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things that you only really find out when you play Randomizer. Because you never do it in the regular game. You're never going to get into a situation where you have no other means of harvesting seeds other than Dimitri. You're always going to have a sword. Seed shooter! We got a seed shooter. We got a way of shooting seeds. Hooray! Also, we can't go into desert yet, but now that we have a seed shooter, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my seeds over at the Black Beast. I assume that's probably the thing I need to do right now. It's either that. It's either going to be that or go turn in the master plaque. Which I could do. Which is why I made a save. I mean, we're just going to save warp back there anyway. Either way. Yeah, 
It's 50 rupees. Cool. Oh wait, it's already spring, so I don't have to worry about changing the season here. Uh, the other possibility is <laughs> just doing hide-and-seek, right? I guess I could. I could just do hide-and-seek. That gets me access to new things. I suppose. But yeah, let's do Master Plaque first. Follow the things that we got. Got a dragon key for that. Okay. So as soon as I get summer or... Either summer or access to the Mount Cuckoo portal. I have, wait, I have Mount Cuckoo portal access. Hold on. Uh, but we need summer regardless. Hmm. Do I want to go to Mount Cuckoo portal? I think that's the next thing I want to do. Uh, I have spring now. But yeah, let's do hide and seek first. Why not? Uh, no, I won't. I won't lose Fool's Ore. Hide and Seek is really just a waste of time. Like, I understand it through a routing perspective, like, oh, try to avoid doing hide-and-seek because it's just a waste of time. Or, you go to it early because you know that's the way. And you want to make progress faster than other people would possibly could because they're going to avoid hide-and-seek. But you know what? Just get rid of it at this point. Or have it be an option to turn it off. It's one of those things that, like, after you've done it 900 times, do you really want to do it another time? It's the exact same pattern every single time. And all it does is just slow you down. pattern was randomized, it would actually be interesting. But yeah. As it is right now, it's just kind of there. And kind of just a complete waste of time. Uh, how do I want to tackle this now? I kind of want to go to Mount Kuko, but at the same time, I want to check all these portals. Yeah, so we're going to check portals, we're going to check we're going to open up Desert. Is that vanilla? Is that the right one that's there? I think it is. I think red is on the other side. And blue is there. I don't remember which is which. All I know is that one is a, an ore.
Oh, Winds of Winter was... Spring? Question mark? Vanilla Portal. So that means... That means the two temple portals are somewhat vanilla. Actually, would have to be entirely vanilla, right? Because otherwise you lock out the temple upper. So temple lower has to be volcano, and temple upper has to be the dungeon at this point. Which means, as soon as we get summer, that's another dungeon we can get to. So that marks, what, two dungeons as soon as we get summer. Alright, so Mount Kuko should have some stuff for us. Like Summer. Which gets us a dungeon. Which gets us two dungeons, as we were just talking about. Thank you, Keys. Alright, I'm gonna grab that heart container. Because why not? And there's Floodgate Key, so that's another clear- that's another dungeon we can get to. So now it's just gonna be a dungeon rush, right? Like, how many dungeons can I get to and do? Uh, we're we're gonna have to do this dungeon without Pegasus seeds. That should be fine. The keyword is should. <laughs> if it's like one of the dungeons that really requires Pegasus Seeds, then maybe not. But if it's like a D1... Oh, D3 is kind of an issue, isn't it? I have Mystery Seeds, so I can Mystery... Uh, D4 shouldn't be too bad. 6 is annoying, 
because we don't have boomerangs. Alright, four. Yeah, four is not too bad. Because we're going to get Pegasus Seeds in here. Nice boss key. Wait! Wait! Something's not right here. Are we sure this is random? <laughs> three dungeons in, and we have three vanilla dungeons. I'm sure it said DPC on the title screen. Alright, yeah, uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, this could very well be the most wild dungeon rando you'll ever see. Like, not only is every dungeon in their vanilla spot, but with Portal Shuffle on, Dungeon 8 is still in its normal spot. <laughs> The odds of that happening have to be really low. I guess it's not impossible. But for everything to line up perfectly, such that you have all vanilla dungeon locations, when you're allowing shuffle, seems very unlikely. Alright, time to refill on Pegasus Seeds. Thank you. Yeah, so we're gonna just get basically all the small keys that we need. Because that's gonna be three and four. I shouldn't need more than the four keys.
And the reason being for that is because we still have mapping compass to get, I'm pretty sure. So I should be able to save scum at least something. Oh no, we have compass. So map, we can potentially save scum. And we know there's a key on Pop Push. Uh, Star Ore doesn't... Yeah, we don't need Star Ore. There's nothing in the shop. Which means... Go straight to Goma? Yeah, let's go straight to Goma. It's a 50-50 at this point. Item versus map. Could get lucky. I might not. Probably won't. It's usually how it works. Oh yeah, we have Seed Shooter, which has a slightly offset hitbox. So I'm gonna have to figure out how, where I have to stand for this. I think I have to stand further to the right. That worked out pretty well. And it's map. Cool. So we gotta go back in. Gotta jump back in for the item. How many things are just vanilla to see? Thanks, Keese. Appreciate it. And it's a shield. That's actually not terrible. Like, honestly, I kind of like having a shield there. Alright. So... Let's see, we got Summer. I'm just gonna see what this is, real quick. It's a ring. Probably not coming back for that. So now that we have Summer, head back to Sunken. And then I'll make my way over to Yeah, we haven't even gone to spool yet. So there could very well be a gale tree over there.
Oh, treasure map. Okay. So there's one jewel locked by Rusty Bell. And the other jewel... Wait, are... Peg Pegasus seeds are here, right? Let me fill up while I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the good luck, Phantom. So yeah, there's one jewel on the beach. And one jewel is... I believe that is the... Floodgate? Oh, you know what? While I'm heading over there, I have desert access, right? I'm here. Let's just do it. Let's just do desert right now. It's going to be annoying to come back here, so... Might as well. Yeah, Oracle Randoms are a lot of fun. There's a lot of really cool things you can do with them. Especially now with uh, cross items being available in both games. So you're able to get items from the opposite game and utilize those to solve puzzles in ways that you never thought possible. Also, I never marked the Fool's Ore. <laughs> this entire time. Probably because I didn't know where it was on the tracker. Dimitri's Flute. Okay. That's a thing. Oh, do I have to... I have to mark the flute and... Who have got... Okay, there we go. I think that's one of the updates that they plan on making for the tracker is to bake that into selecting the animal rather than having to do both. Huh? Why is everything vanilla today? Why is everything vanilla today? <laughs> this is so weird. This is probably the weirdest seed I've ever seen in terms of, like, how much is actually vanilla. It's really boggling my mind. See, so yeah, I don't have Gnarled Key yet. Let's just make our way to Spool. Let's just do a dungeon. Let's do Dungeon 3. Because, right? It's going to be Dungeon 3. Dungeon 3 is a good dungeon. It is Gale Seeds! Let's go! Yeah, if it's actually Dungeon 3, I might have to just, like, stop for a second and just double-check the settings. Because <laughs> there's no way that we're going to see all these vanilla dungeons, right?
It's kind of like that Anakin and Padme meme. So you're going to turn on Dungeon Shuffle today. Yeah. So that means your dungeons are going to be in different locations. Right? Right? Okay. Finally, we've got a different dungeon. Dungeon Shuffle does exist. The only problem is this D7, which means I'd have to do Cabeless if I really wanted to finish this right now. I haven't done Cabeless in a little bit. I do have a switch hook. Yeah, so I could do Cabeless if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to. Yeah, of course not. Alright, don't care. Uh, yeah, let's just not even. I don't have cane, so this is just really annoying. I could probably just come back here later. But I'm here. Let's just do it. I don't even have a boomerang. A boomerang would be really nice right about now. Okay, it, it only gives me once. Okay. Key. Of course, it runs out immediately as I get to the jump. There we go. Much better. Not really. It was terrible. Compass. Okay. It's a thing. 
Where is... The Armos I need. Alright, so I have to go up here. This is also going to be a key for sure. Oh, that fairy is going to be really nice. Thank you. So, Cape Chest is also going to be a key. It has to be. Like, there's no way around this. Like, all these have to be keys. I pressed the wrong button! I jumped at the wrong time. Gonna go ahead and uh, just do that real quick. Let's make this a little bit easier for me. Cool. So I think waiting is the the best strat here, right? Okay, that goes, that's so much easier if you just wait. Moving on. Did I get Bosky yet? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Nice heart container. Okay. I'm going to have to do it this way. Why is that not grab it on? There we go. I pressed the button. Yeah, this is going great.
This is what happens when you don't play Seasons Rando for three, four weeks. I don't have... Oh, no. No, I don't have... I don't have any. I don't have any scent seeds. <laughs> All I wanted was a scent seed. Idea. Idea! How am I getting over there? I'm just gonna jump. Fine. We're just jumping over there. Oh, that's boss key. Okay. The back might be locked? That could be interesting. What, what else are we missing? Item. Item and... Small key. Item, small key. That's all we're missing out of here. And this is small key, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be the small key? Alright, we gotta come back in. We've gotta come back in and uh, get the item. Because I'm not leaving an item in the back of D7 here. When we're still missing both boomerangs. And a cape. Or, you know, I could come back later. I could do this later. Ah, uh, no, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. I'll forget later. Let's see, route after this. Right after this, we're going to go Winter Cave, reset the area, go into Subrosia. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Winter Cave. Oh no, we don't even need to reset because we have um, Dimitri. We have Dimitri's flute now. I can just go in there. And then go into Subrosia. Hate these jumps so much. Yeah, I'm doing pretty okay. I'm doing some things that are a little weird. But, uh... For the most part, we're just kind of making our way through. Like, the back half of this dungeon isn't really supposed to be done without a cape. Because this is the dungeon that you obtain the cape in. But it's doable. And under some circumstances, it's considered logical. I don't know what, I don't think this check is logical without cape. You 
never know. You might find something there. You might find a boomerang. We always want a boomerang. But yeah, the, the main things that we're looking for right now, other than just doing dungeons, is boomerangs. In order for us to beat the game, we're going to need two more boomerangs. And either, either the cape or the hyper slingshot. Because we need that for dungeon eight. We only need one or the other. Preferably the cape. Yeah, I also need another jewel, but I know where that jewel is. So, we're, I'm not too worried about it. Like, we're gonna go get the jewel, like, literally right now. Because I'm going to turn in the the rusty bell, and as soon as I do that, we're gonna get our our jewel. Now it's about this time that I would normally turn in the hard ore as well, but we all know what happened early on in the seed. <laughs> we needed that hard ore. Very early on. Hmm. I think I want to farm. Yeah, I'm going to farm a little bit. I normally don't farm at this stage, but Ooh, that that was a good that was a good farm. Really quick farm. Give me another another red really quickly, please. Or just give me five more blues. I'll take five blues or one red. Or you know I'll take all the reds, why not? So yeah, we're just going to grab ourselves some Pegasus Seeds. Because we're about to go into another dungeon. Like, immediately after leaving here. So it is a good idea to have some Pegasus Seeds on hand. I have Gale Seeds now, so it's not a big deal. Like, I can always go just Gale Seed to a tree and save Warp back. Alright, there is our Jewel. So in order to beat this game, we need to get all of the essences. So we need to beat all eight dungeons. Oh, uh, this is summer, isn't it? It is. Hey, D1! Good dungeon. So yeah, we need to beat all eight dungeons. Um... The main things we need right now are boomerangs. Because Dungeon 6 requires you to have the magic boomerang in order to beat it. Hey, Noble Sword. Good stuff. So you need to have two copies of the boomerang in order to get the magic boomerang. Ribbon? Don't really want to go back to Sabrosia, but 
If we have to... So yeah, we're literally just boomerang. We're in boomerang mode at this point. I think the dungeon that I want to do last is going to be um, the dungeon up at the top of Temple Remains. Because I don't want to climb all the way up there just for it to be D6. And we need to go back there again. Long switch! Cool. That does absolutely nothing. Want to go to the furnace? Not really. But we can. Uh, what am I missing? Map, item? Yeah, map and item. Okay. Might as well go to the back while I'm here. Because otherwise it's going to be a really long time for me to get back here. If I have to. Which I probably do. Usually. Oh, it's map. Okay. We didn't need to do that. Cool. Moving on. Let's finish up D1 by fighting Aquamantis. Good fight. And it's a slingshot. I'll take it, because slingshots are cool. I do like the slingshot a little bit more than the sea shooter in certain circumstances. Though that circumstance is usually Goma. And we've already fought Goma. But there's a few other things where you want to just have a quick, quick shot. Uh, where am I headed? Tarm. We're going to Tarm. Like, why would I go anywhere else right now? I have no idea. Because, yeah, I have access to every dungeon but one. Gnarled Key is the only... Oh, we still need Gnarled Key, don't we? <laughs> we need Gnarled Key and Boomerangs. So I guess worst case scenario right now is I do not find anything here. Like, we just clear this dungeon. And then we have to go to the other dungeon that we have access to. That one, I really don't want to go to. But chances are, it probably has our boomerangs, right? Like, that's how it's going to work. Where are you? Alright, Lost Woods.
think another nice quality of life thing would be to remove the Lost Woods. Like, I get, you know, it's the vanilla way. But at the same time, it just takes time. I'm going to take those rupees. Because we haven't seen Member Shop yet. Uh, all four seasons are still required. You, like, you have to use them throughout, otherwise. Like, you need summer and winter and fall, and then at the end you need spring. So you need all four seasons regardless. Yeah, you, you need to be able to make spring to do the, the flower over here. Also, shout-outs to the thing that everyone has trouble with. Yes, these trees at the bottom are burnable. You can get by without a shovel. What dungeon do we have here? It's D6. Another vanilla dungeon. Would you look at that? So is that, is that gonna be... <laughs> that's gonna be the theme of this Oh, Noroki. Okay, so we have access to every dungeon now. We just need boomerangs. <laughs> we just need boomerangs to come back here and finish this off. So I think Gnarled Key first. Yeah, Gnarled Key first. Because it's easy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm leaving. I'm just straight up leaving. And I'll tell you why. Because we only got one key there. That tells me that right side is locked. Whoop, don't want to go there. Right side is locked by the magic boomerang. Because you need at least two small keys in order to go right side. The right side has absolutely nothing for me. And that also tells me that there's another key on the left side. Oh look, it's our favorite dungeon. Armor ring level three. Oh, you know what? I only have seven ember seeds. That is not good.
That's especially bad when I'm trying to do things out of logic. Can't hit the pixel. There it is. Alright, I'm not using any more Ember Seeds for anything. Because we're going to need them for later. All right, two keys. Alright, that was late. Uh, that looks pretty good. Might be... yeah. Cool. Second try is not bad, especially since I haven't done it in a month. Like, that's, that's not an easy trick. There are ways to make it easier, I just have not learned them yet. All right, third key, so we can go forward. Got Maple's ring. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go for go for it this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it this way because I don't have the hyper slingshot. If I had hyper slingshot, utilizing the mini boss portal would be a thing but because I don't I can't really utilize it so I don't want to have to deal with like save and quit soft block scenarios yeah if you don't know what you're doing uh, with the HSS skip you definitely should just find the hyper slingshot. Because it would take you a very long time to just do the trick if you don't know what you're doing. 
Also, I have to put an ice block down. So that means D3 is at D8 entrance. Oh, that was really big. <laughs> that was really big Ember Seed drop there. So we're up to five keys. Not too worried about keys right now. I'm more worried about my health. Are there any... All right, there's one heart. Well, it's time to die to Fry Polar. <laughs> time to die to Fry Polar because I don't have a boomerang. <laughs> if I had a boomerang, we'd be at full health, but. We do not. Actually went really well. <laughs> A lot better than I expected. All right, good stuff. And there's our boss key. So we can finish the dungeon. But I'm not done yet. I still need to clear this out because I am still looking for those boomerangs. And there could very well be a boomerang in the front half of this dungeon. Still missing map. Yeah, skipping the harp cutscene uh, in ages is really fun. Like, it really helps a lot. And I'm just getting bullied in this room. Yeah, Auto Auto Mermaid is a keyboard and controller saber. <laughs> I 
That could very well be. Alright, that is key six, which is all I ever need. Wait, if that's key six... Alright, that's map. Okay. I'm actually trying to think, like, I should have... Let's see, I've used one, two... I've used... Actually, that's key seven. I was like, that... there's no way that's just key six. So yeah, that was definitely key seven. What are the odds of me finding boomerangs in back-to-back -back checks? At this point... <laughs> Uh, they're getting getting pretty high. Because there's not many things that we can do left. Like, it's probably somewhere... I wouldn't be surprised to find both boomerangs in D3 at this point. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> the boomerangs are always the last thing to find. It's kind of like the ice rod in A Link to the Past. It only has one use. Like, you really only use it one in one location. You only use it for D6. You can utilize it for some other things, but... You're mostly just using it for getting to the boss of D6. Really don't want to die here. Is there a Minish reference? Um, it's kind of like, like a Gus Jar. Or, no, probably even better, it's like the Jabbernut. It only lets you do, like, one thing. And it could just be anywhere.
but Jabbernut is mostly just for accessing a, one dungeon, whereas the boomerang does have some use, right? Because it's you, it, you can use it as a weapon. You can use it to clear uh, mushrooms. There's there's some stuff that you can use it for, but in terms of like practicality, most of the time it's like the last thing you find. Then again, Jabbernut. Yeah, Jabbernut you don't necessarily need. You absolutely need the boomerang. So I guess it's more like the gush jar. Or the last Cloud Tops Kinstone. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> that's another big one there. The last Cloud Tops Kinstone. But yeah, I think it's more like the Gush Jar. It's got like a little bit of purpose. It's really only used in that one dungeon that it's for. But then after that, it's got like a couple overworld things that you can do with it. Yeah, the spinner in Twilight Princess. Or, um, what's that other one? The, the Dominion Rod? That that has, like, no uses out, outside of its one dungeon, right? Hyper Slingshot. Okay. I guess let's just do the dungeon. Why not? Uh, I have... Yeah, I have good... Good amount of stuff, so... Yeah, I kind of like the spinner. Spinner was pretty cool. Bugnet? Hey, Bugnet has some tech. Use the Bugnet on Aghanim. It's one of the, the best things. <laughs> oh, I don't have a shovel. I have to... I have to change the season. I actually have to change the season here. So I might as well just change it to fall. Well, Lotus finished! <laughs> so that must mean both boomerangs are somewhat close together. Lotus finished in a 204.54. GG. I mean, I know I wasted like, probably like 10-15 minutes at the beginning, just wandering around aimlessly. I didn't think I was, like, that far behind. Oh, we're, we're just going straight to dungeon. Okay. We don't have to go all the way up to the top. That's good. That's actually really good. Because I didn't want to go all the way up to the top. My boomerang. I just need some boomerangs. 
I need two whole boomerangs. Off boss key check and boss check. That's, yeah, that's a possibility. That would be really nice. I would prefer to get him a little bit sooner. <laughs> that way we can just kind of blitz through the back half of this dungeon. Yeah, slingshot early game, Skyward Sword, and then you get things that outclass it. Speaking of Skyward Sword, I kind of want to get into doing Skyward Sword Rando at some point. I'll probably need to, like, take a full day to do that. Same thing with, like, Twilight Princess and, like, Majora's Mask and Zooter. Like, I, I want to play, like, a lot of the 3D's uh, randomizers. I mostly just haven't done it because I assume that they're going to take me a really long time. Breath of the Wild Rando. What does that even entail? <laughs> Is it just, like... Equipment rando? You can't really do too much with that, I don't think. Then again, I haven't played Breath of the Wild in. Oh, since it basically came out. I should do that again before Tears of the Kingdom. Where are these boomerangs? They've got to be somewhere, right? Can't be somewhere too crazy. Because otherwise Lotus wouldn't have finished. Let's start metagaming a little bit. Yeah, I bet they're like in a really easy spot somewhere. We just completely overlooked it. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know what? I bet they're both Rosa checks. Just both of them. Alright, is it possible for this to be double boomerang? It is. It is possible. There's two items. Yo, Lotus. GG on the race. Oh, uh, there's one. Can we get another? If it's double boomerang here, whoever called that... <laughs> 
Were you watching Lotus? <laughs> well, let, let, let's see if it actually is here. Do the dance. It is! <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll take it. You weren't watching. <laughs> Just a bold prediction. It happened to be true. You did D3 earlier. Yeah, that probably explains a whole lot. Because I was in boomerang mode for a decent amount. Yeah, we're in go mode now. Barring one key, potentially, in D D6 here. Uh, do I... I just take the long way so I don't have to catch any... Or, I don't have to open anything. There should be a key on the, the left side, but I don't want to take any risks at this point. Well, D6 in general, like, I haven't done anything in here. I just got the first three checks and left. But the fact that I had to leave and come back is a big difference. Like, I, I know I, I didn't do right side because I only got one small key. And I was like, okay... Right side is only in logic, but two. So I'm just not going to do it. And I knew that it was just not going to be anything because I was just in bo a boomerang mode at that point. When did you do D8? Because I feel like I lost a lot of time in D8 because I was still looking for boomerangs. Because I had to full clear. Yeah, so you were already in go mode. So you were able to just do the back of the dungeon and leave, pretty much. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll set up now for, for Vire here. Yeah, because boss key was kind of late in the dungeon. And there were a lot of small keys available in the back. And I wasted a lot of time early on, too, because uh, I completely forgot I had hard ore. <laughs> so I was, I was really confused and thought I had to actually farm rupees for Blano. And then Blano only had the satchel, and it didn't actually do anything for me. Yeah, that was fun.
And there were a couple other things that I forgot about. Um, but I, I chalked that up to being rusty. And just, like, not having played this in a month. Hello? That was a weird hitbox. It was just, like, slightly too low. And of course the satchel upgrade is the last thing I find. I would have liked to have that earlier. You know what's really funny about this seed? is just the sheer amount of vanilla. Between vanilla portals, vanilla dungeons, vanilla items. For the longest time, I thought that Dungeon Shuffle was just completely off. <laughs> because the first, like, four dungeons I found were vanilla. I'm surprised that hit. I'm really surprised that hit. Oh yeah, whiz robes are jerks. Every game. Guaranteed. Especially the blue ones in this game. Blue ones are really jerks. Um, red actually aren't as bad, even though in Zelda 1, red are, like, really the danger ones. Blue, like, the blue ones are okay as well. But the red ones are really dangerous in, in Zelda 1, because they do four hearts of damage. Like, they hit, like, a truck. Alright, let's see if I can, uh... Do the hand jumps here. Oh, you found Power Ring level 3? Yeah, I don't think I found that. There we go. And we finish in second place with a 22209. 
GG. That was a fun race. Always fun to play seasons once in a while. I'm I'm liking the new tracker. Still need to get used to like where things are located and uh, tracking actually everything here. I would have remembered it eventually, like, I would have gone through every little thing in my head and been like, oh, I need to go back to the hard order. Like, I... <laughs> That's the one thing with the tracker, is because it still doesn't have the logic for Subrosia. I didn't see that I could do the uh, hard order check. So I just kind of checked it off in my in my mind that it was already done. But then I went in and opened up all locations. I was like, okay. I found, and then I, I realized, oh, I could do that. You didn't think that you were going to be able to clear D5 on your first entrance. See, I I went in there and I knew, like, oh yeah, it's fully clearable. Like, there was nothing stopping me at that point. The only thing that was a little sketchy was potentially the basement with the boss key check. But I had enough health that I was okay taken a, a hit or two if I needed to, but I, obviously I didn't have to go down there. Yeah, I, I completely skipped it altogether. Because I, I took the 50-50 on the boss and found the, the item on the boss. What was it? I don't remember. Was it a heart container? Yeah, yeah, hard container. Let's see, what else? Uh, I did D7 Capeless. That was fun. I, w I was, like, super low on health in a lot of places, too. I was just taking a lot of extra health, uh, extra damage. I think it's because I'm just so used to playing Minish Cap where health really didn't matter too much. You found Cape way earlier? Okay. So yeah, that probably helped out a lot. Because I it took me a while to get through D7. And I went back in to grab the item in the back, which ended up being just a heart piece, I think. It wasn't anything of value. But yeah, that's uh, the weekly race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will hopefully be doing more of these in the future. We'll try and squeeze them in as we can. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.